Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Thrifty Crafty Queen, but if you're cool with me, my name is Amber. All right, so today I'm gonna do a little DIY. I'm telling y'all right now, I had to do some real rigging through these parts. Like my whole setup is rigged. So pray for me that she stays up long enough for me to do this video and yeah. So today's DIY came from Crafty Planner. She said that she um, uses backgrounds. So she said she just uses a poster board and some adhesive paper. So what did I do? Go get me a poster board, foam board, and I got me some removable adhesive from Walmart and I'm using this wood type. So um, and I will be using my Dollar Tree. So let me get that. Ooh, sorry if y'all saw my head. Um, I'm going to do the other side with this more like vanilla-ish type deal. So I will use both the Walmart brand and the Dollar Tree brand. So but on both sides. Um, like I said, I got my foam board from Walmart. You can get this from Dollar Tree for a dollar. So if you don't have to, do not get this from Walmart because you can get it from Dollar Tree. Okay. So if that is something you would like to see, please, please, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I am so close to my target watch hours. So I need you to watch me up, watch me up. But like I said, hit that subscribe button. Make sure that all of your notifications are on so that you'll follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and my podcast. Thank you all for those that have been watching my podcast. I do get to see the progress in my podcast um, analytics. So I greatly appreciate you all for supporting me in that. So yeah, so we are going to go ahead and do this. This should not be hard, okay? Should not. So let's get into it. So like I said, I got white. Um, do not mind that right there. That is my raggedy desk. This is also adhesive. I just put on my desk to give it that marble feel. But yeah, um, you could get black if you wanted to. It's just that the adhesive that you get would definitely have to be dark just like the black. So I just got white because, sis, don't nobody have time for all of that. And this board is, ooh, without knocking my setup down, by Elmer's um, foam board. So it is white and it is 20 by 30 by three and, and a half, 16 inches. So yeah. So I want to put the darker foam on, I made darker adhesive on this side because I don't feel like taking that off and this will cover it. So, in which I have a lot left over. So, you know, um, with some deco, with some, not deco, with some purchase of, I could even do a canvas and cover it up and use these as wall art with just the wood on it. So I'm liking that idea already. So it is the same width. So you do not have to cut anything off as width-wise, up and down. Um, so yeah, I'm really, I'm actually good to go. The only thing is that I need to make sure this is clean. And again, don't mind my head if my head pops in. Um, you could actually go ahead and pre- measure this out so so you can know exactly how much you're using you can even let you can even let 
a little bit hang off just so you can be extra sure that you have enough um what i'm going to do is i'm actually just going to leave this on the roll or do i want to do that you know what i'm just going to leave a little bit hanging off and i'm going to cut right along these lines so if i need to trim off some more i still have enough wiggle room so i'm going to make sure it's right up against it because we do want this to be as straight as possible which i'm using the edge of the board to help me with as far as making sure that it is straight so okay we have that again it would apparently did not come off um i didn't cut in a straight line but i have enough wiggle room to where i can go back like i said and trim off what's right here whatever is hanging that way i can go ahead and put my put my roll up so it does have this on the back now if you want to you can do the whole especially if you're going to do both sides you can see how much you're going to cut because they have the inches on here so it's really easy um you just have to take this paper off which i always ugh, i always have an issue with so you just got to find it to take it off and like i said i hope you all can see me okay so i'm going to go ahead and turn this around now ew it has a it has a i would say a loud fume smell coming from it so if you have asthma i would suggest to wear a mask because this sticky right here like i said it has a fume to it um trying to do it where i'm still in the frame i hope you all could see me okay so i want to I, I, I. again i want to make sure if i could just get the top together and the bottom together spread it down as i go with me unrolling this so like i said as i go i'm just pulling this paper and as i go i'm just smoothing this out so what you want to avoid is you want to avoid the air bubbles so you want to smooth it out as you go uh, you can actually get a ruler so i'm using this ruler and i just want to again i can see where some it looks like air bubbles are and i'm just going to smooth them out from the side okay smooth it out be firm and just press down and smooth it out smooth it out you don't want to unroll too much until you get it smoothed out like you want it okay so again i'm slowly unrolling this a little bit at a time and like i said keep keep smoothing her out okay keep keep smoothing her out um this is a very cost low very low cost um uh, to do this i paid 12 dollars for a two-sided background from amazon this 
roll was six, maybe six, maybe six, but I know it's like five something. So yeah, six with tax and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I still have plenty more to, to, to play with. So that is the paper. I don't know what I could do with that. Um, if I find a, find a, uh, something DIY related that I could do with that, I would definitely come back and let you all know. So let me get up here. Okay. Y'all can see me. Y'all can see me. All right. Look at my washi tape. Okay. So again, just flatten it all the way out. Okay. So again, I have this much hanging off so again remember i said that i did that because your girl did not cut it straight and i just wanted to make sure that when i get ready to cut i'm not cutting into the foam board so i still had enough wiggle room and again, I'm just going to go right up against the board, cut off that excess, okay? Ooh. Okay. So again, get this close as I can and whatever I don't get close to I'll just um I'm hoping okay whatever I don't get close to I will just kind of like just fold it like that uh, whatever is straggling off okay I'm gonna try not to cut the board try not to if if at all costs try not to um, I'm pretty sure you can use an exacto knife you would definitely have to have a cutting board long enough to do so okay so look at her i'm so proud of it i'm so proud of it so of course me i got to make sure my edges are together so that is that again i'm going to just go off the edges here just to make sure everything is intact and everything is intact so I'm going to go over to the other side and that's what I was saying with the exacto knife you could and I'll show you get a cutting board okay so let me pull out my cutting board all right so this is like I said another option that you could do you do not have to do this option at all let me make sure that y'all can see okay so you want to go right up against right up against this right up against the board you're going to have to press down hard enough um again sorry if y'all see my head in the frame but you're gonna have to press down hard enough which i'm probably gonna do the other side because using the scissors it's a little bit tricky okay just gonna go around that edge and again this side this is the side that I used the X-Acto knife on. 
and then this is the side that I used the scissors on. So like I said, it's really, really, really personal preference if you want to use scissors or your exacto knife. And I use the cutting board because I need to replace this marble because I have been cutting up my desk and that is the whole purpose oops almost fell okay that is the whole purpose of me um getting a new desk so i can finally put my cutting board on it and just leave it okay so this is the dollar this is the dollar tree brand again it's that vanilla-ish type feel it has a few like blue dents in here so yeah so let's see if this one okay so unfortunately this one is not as wide as the um walmart brand but here's the deal you could actually just put it down here and then you take a you take the other half and put it at the top and nobody will see that because it will be seamless okay so I'm going to go ahead and do that um, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and keep watching all right we are done so here's a couple of things i did go around the edges and clean them up as far as it hanging over on this side i did go ahead and clean that up with my exacto knife it would really good be good just to go ahead and use your exacto knife just to get a really clean polished edge okay so like i said i did do that all the way around the board this right here i didn't line it up like i thought i did so you can see a little white right there but that will be hanging down i'm doing um photos for my whatever i make so me putting something right there you won't see that that will only bother you if you are super ocd um, I'm OCD or well, I'm some like OCD, but that doesn't bother me. So yeah. Um, and also with the Dollar Tree contact paper, it does not, um, it is not wide like the Walmart where it met on, where it met on both sides. So Dollar Tree will come about like right there. And then, like I said, you're going to have to use the other side of that adhesive. And you're going to have to piece it um, along. So, I'll show you when I say piece it. So, if you, which you can't really tell, or you can tell right here, but I'm going to go over it with my ruler again. Um, this is about how much space it is left over. So, again, this part can be facing you. So, if you're self-conscious and you think people are going to notice that, you can put this towards you. Or, you can put little things, you know, at the top of it if you have it faced this way. For me, because I know that that is right there, I would have it facing this way. So, when I'm doing my photos, I'm using this part, not that bottom part. So, that is one thing about that dollar tree and then like i said with the walmart adhesive all i did was just put it on here again use this so as it as it is coming out you just push this with your um 
with your ruler to move it out of the way and not have any air bubbles. I don't have any air bubbles because I used a ruler. I got this ruler from Walmart, but you can use any ruler. Um, it has like this little, little um, knot, knot part um, where you can actually put your hands right there and you can just move move the adhesive to one side. So this does work. And like I said, you can either use scissors or X-Acto knife, whichever one works for you. And yeah, so let me get one of my planners just to see what we are working with here. And because I'm going to use my favorite, in the whole wide world, Aaron Condren. So if I was to take a picture, my podcast notebook, and then my catch all. So if I was to put them on a picture, then I could do that. And like I said, you would never know that this was a poster board unless you're up like this, where you can see my background back here too. But that makes a really good picture. Um, also makes a really good canvas for, oh, I just broke my stool. This makes a really good canvas. Um, you, like I said, you can get you some canvases and cover the poster board up. I mean, cover the, the, the canvas up using that adhesive, okay? Okay, so let me see. This also makes a good background for my, what is going on here? Oh, lint. Uh, it makes really good background for my little scrubbies that I make. So, any crafts that you do, it will look good on your board. So, if you're looking for ways to spruce up your background but not pay a whole lot of money, this is what we have. This is what you can do on your own. does not take a rocket scientist to make this happen. So, again... I hope you all like this video. I hope you all appreciate the effort that I put into this. And by showing me, you can give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. You can also put down below hashtag warrior squad. You can go to my Facebook page, my Instagram, and my podcast. So, I am going to post pictures. So, Talk to you later. Bye.